So in this video, we're going to be looking at follow through. Now, I've looked at follow through before in other videos when talking about playing um, screw back and topspin. But I want to talk about follow through in the sense of using it on every single shot. And the ultimate goal when we're playing pool is to have a consistent cue stroke where we do the same thing every time, no matter what type of shot we're playing. And follow through should be part of that cue stroke however we're playing a shot, however hard we're playing it, or whatever type of spin we're playing. So what do I mean by follow through? All I mean is that when we get down to the ball, we line up for the ball and we play our shot. The cue is following past where we struck the cue ball. And it's that pushing the cue through that we call the follow through. And the goal should be to do that the same on every shot we do, so it's, con so it's consistent. Now how do we do that? It's fairly simple. It's just a case of making sure that we've got a right balance between where we're holding the cue at the back and where we're placing our bridge hand so that we can get enough backswing but also enough follow through with the cue. So if we have a look at the back arm first, if I get down to the shot and you've probably heard me talk before about this vertical arm at the back now actually I have my arm slightly back from vertical if you look at it it's not quite vertical vertical will probably be about there so I'm slightly back from vertical and that gives me enough of a backswing where I can pull the cue right to the edge of my bridge hand and also if I move to the side here enough follow through and I bring my hand all the way up to my chest and bringing my hand all the way up to my chest there lets me know that I've pushed the cue all the way through. If I'm holding the cue too short, so if I'm holding my, with my arm further forward here, then okay, I can still do a nice backswing, although my arm's not come as far back. But when I come to here, my hand's met my chest here already, and you can see where the end of the cue is, just past the ball. So I've got no follow through because I'm holding the cue too short. So you need to be aware of where you're holding that at the point of impact. That's too far forward. Same thing if we go too far back. So if I hold at the back of my cue, and obviously this is different for everybody because everyone's got different length cues and different length arms. But if I hold my cue right at the back, then, okay, I can push the cue all the way through to there. Lots of follow through right up to my chest. But you'll notice when I'm addressing the ball here, I haven't got any backswing. I can't, unless I really extend that out and I'm getting out of control here. So it has to be a nice balance of the two. It needs to be in a position where you can pull the cue back comfortably and push it through. Same in both directions. The other thing is the bridge hand. So usually I'm placing my bridge hand so around probably sort of six to eight inches away from the ball. If I place my hand too far back from the ball, so if I come back a little bit further, so 12, 14 inches away, even if I'm holding the cue in this neutral position, okay, I can feather the cue fine. But again, as I push the cue through, you can see by the time I've reached my hand here, my chest, sorry, I'm at the ball. So I've run out of cue. I can't get any follow through. I'm too far away with this hand. Opposite, obviously, if we go too close, then we can push the cue all the way through again, a lot further. But I've got no real room to feather here and get a smooth backswing. I'm going to be jabbing at the ball too much. And it's that jabbing at the ball that a lot of beginners do. Um, they, they, will, they will sort of come here and they will, they will jab and stab at the ball. And the reason that's not how we play the shot and that we play with follow through is for several reasons. The first one is aiming. If I'm, if I'm sighting a ghost ball here and I'm sighting the center of the ghost ball and I'm aiming at that point, then when I push the cue through the shot, I'm pushing the cue through all the way and aiming at that, that point, point of aim, all the way through the shot. And by doing it all the way through the shot, not just at the point we're hitting the cue ball, then I'm making sure that that cue stays nice and straight all the way through the shot. The second thing, as I said right at the beginning, is about generating spin. 
if we push through the cue ball, we're staying in contact with it for that little bit longer, and that helps generate more spin on the ball. If we stab at the ball, the cue tip's not in contact with the ball long enough, and you're not there long enough to generate that spin on the ball. So it's a little stabby action. Um, the final thing is timing. I've talked about timing in another video. Um, and it's about having a smooth stroke, and we want to really be contacting the cue ball at the maximum pace of that um, cue stroke. So to do that, you really want it to be in the middle of your cue stroke. So when you come back, you're making contact with the ball in the middle of that stroke. If, you are, if you're playing with a short arm or too close and you're stabbing at the ball, then you're, you're contacting the ball right at the end of that stroke, probably when you're actually starting to decelerate. It. And again, that's going to affect your spin and your accuracy. You'll also notice with your cue when you push it through, if you have got any slight wobbles anywhere, it's likely to be at the end of your cue stroke as you come into contact with your arm and that last little extension. So you don't want that to be happening as you hit the ball because then you're going to put unwanted side on it and you're going to miss cue. You're not going to cue where you're aiming at and you're going to miss. So by doing it so that you're making contact in the middle of your stroke, you're more likely to be more accurate with your shot. So let's just have a quick little look at that. So if I play a um, plain ball shot, I get down, aim, pull back, pause, and you'll see where my cue ended up. Now if I put a, um, put a ball there, a little marker, You can see if I play this shot again and I play, um, play a screw back shot, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I get down, feather, pull back, pause. My cues come to the same point. Exactly the same with the top spin. Get down and dress the ball a little higher up by raising the bridge hand. Pull back, pause. And again, getting to the same point. And it's that consistency that allows you to play the same shot over and over again and be consistent in your potting and your, and your position with the cue ball. Same thing goes for pace as well. Those shots were at sort of a medium pace. But if I play these shots firm, still getting to the same point, even though I'm hitting the ball a lot harder. And even when I play a gentle shot, the only slight difference with a gentle shot is that I'll probably adjust my backswing a little bit. I won't pull the cue back quite as far. It's a bit like a golfer. You know, if they're trying to just chip a few yards, they're not going to swing the cue all the way back up here. They'll probably take a shorter backswing. But they'll still follow through with the club, and you do the same thing with the cue. So if I'm hitting this really gently, I'll get down. I'll be feathering a little gentler. I'll pull back not quite as far. Pause. I'm still pushing my cue through to the same point so that I'm doing the same thing every time. And it's that consistency that's so important in pool. Um, one final thing just to say is that if you want to practice this and check that you're pushing the cue through, then you can do what I've done here. Um, put a couple of balls so you're doing the same shot every time and mark where you're going to. And it's good practice anyway to stay down on a shot and keep your cue there. And that get, tells you that you've pushed it through, but it's good to do that on every shot anyway. So if you're going to do this, you probably can't see from the camera angle here, but I've got this set off slightly off straight. And that just means that when I play a screw back shot, I can play all the way through, follow through, and the cue ball's not going to come back and come into contact with my cue. So it means that I'm not getting in the way of things. So it's about consistency, doing the same thing over and over again and trying to push that cue all the way through the shot nice and smoothly and making sure that you follow through on every single shot.
If you want to see more practice routines and pull tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.